Nathan Lyon is standing in the long room. The reason is because he wants to come out and bat, but he's afraid that it will take him too long to get all the way down the stairs, all the way out the long room, out past the pavilion, onto the ground. The first question is, why the hell is he not sitting? Has Lords actually run out of stools? But also, why is he in the long room? Well, that's because our sport has a law so spectacular that if he were to stand upstairs, he would be dismissed for time down. No one in the history of Test cricket has been dismissed that way. Saurav Ganguly could have been timed out, but Graham Smith did not actually appeal. And on the very few occasions that this has happened in first class cricket, it is usually quite hilarious. Andrew Jordan missed his entrance because the roads near him were flooded on the morning of the match. Hemilal Yadav was caught mid-conversation and didn't realise that he was actually needed to go out and bat. Vazbet Drakes was chosen to play in a match, but his flight had not actually landed in the country at that point. And Andrew Harris had a groin strain and it took him too long to actually get out to the middle. This is not a normal cricket dismissal. But this is not a normal test match at this point. This is Mitchell Stark against the Basballing England with nine fielders on the boundary. And if you can't see them all from this photo, that's because there isn't a really good angle to show every single player on a boundary. It isn't a thing we do in cricket. But that's where we were at Lords. A bloke on one leg standing surrounded by men in red trousers who own property portfolios, while England was attacking very hard, playing entertaining cricket, bowling at 70 miles an hour with everyone on the rope. This is just not like other test matches. Baz Ball going up against Australia's pragmatism and fast bowling on a slightly slow, dead, uneven pitch has turned this into one of the most bizarre spectacles that cricket has ever made. And cricket's made some pretty weird things. I mean, what on earth is this? England delivered some of the weirdest, slowest, devious bounces that we have ever had the displeasure of seeing. It was like they were trying to cuddle Australia to death. They went two hours without a full ball. And usually when we see a bowler delivering this length, we ask if they've hurt their toes. But tongue aside, no one was fast enough to even damage their own toe. But that didn't stop England from four hours of the most depressingly slow into the wicket bowling we have ever seen in Test cricket. 98% of their deliveries were short. It was like a bloody Danny DeVito family reunion. And to be fair, while Australia played smarter cricket with the bat, they still struggled to make a big score doing it. And it was because of Australia not being able to kick on that Nathan Lyon felt the need, the desire, the want to come out and bat. Mitch Stark was actually walking off the field at that time. So what we had next was a walk on so slow that I think now Nathan Lyon is actually in WWE. Of course, when he was out in the middle, he couldn't run or walk or at times even move, meaning Australia could only hit boundaries. But how do you do that when everyone is actually out on the rope already? And there are, of course, two ways to look at what Lyon did. The crowd certainly saluted his courage, and that will be the major part of this that is remembered. But also remember, in 2023, we have a sport where someone has to hobble out on the field, unassisted by a runner, unable to really do their job properly. And I'd love to think more about the seriousness of that, but this was funny as hell. Like when Lyon creamed a pull shot and had to sit there and watch his test runs not get added to. Stark obviously hit out, and at one stage he smashed the ball out to deep mid-wicket, and Rayhan Ahmed, who so far in this test match has been fielding like he has non-stick pans for hands, somehow manages to throw himself up and reach with one hand the ball and throw it back onto the field. It was a remarkable bit of fielding. But for some reason, Nathan Lyon was running. Of course, running is the wrong term. He was dragging himself like someone who had just shot themselves in their own foot and now realised that a flock of zombies was behind them. Is that the collective noun for zombies? I'm not sure. It didn't really make any sense anyway. It's either going to be a six or caught. So now Lyon has to hobble quickly to make sure he isn't out and probably hurts his calf muscle more for one run. And that isn't even the silliest moment of this innings because one of the funniest things I've seen happened not long after that. And it starts because England are bouncing Lyon. And of course, at this point, it would have been against their muscle memory to bowl any fuller. But there is a twist in this. Lyon could not bowl in this game. The only way Australia could get overs out of him was if England hit him on the head and Lyon got, or at least pretended, to have concussion. My question is, why are England bouncing Nathan Lyon? But they did it. And Lyon gets a ball that he hooks off the top edge towards fine leg. And there are two fielders down there who both have a chance of catching it. But neither did. Because somehow they each kind of get in each other's way and then the ball trickles between them and now one of them has to throw himself at the boundary to stop this slowly dribbling ball. They eventually do stop it, they drag it back in and they fire it back at the stumps only to see that Lion has kind of just hobbled around in a half circle and not taken any runs at all. 
I have no evidence for this at all, but this felt like the stupidest stop ball in cricket history. But Australia did occasionally score as well. Even with the fielders out, Stark hit one into the stands, and then Lyon pulled another ball away for four. Not long after that, there was a moment where Lyon hit the ball out to a fielder who also couldn't move because it was Ben Stokes and his knee was hurting. It was like the game had actually stopped at that point. No one could run and no one could field. I actually wondered if Australia might have stolen a hobble one while Stokes tried to get his leg to work again. Of course, another short ball came and finally Lyon was out. England was nearly out in the middle batting again is how long it actually took him to leave the field. You could actually hear Cricket laugh and sigh in unison. So, shall we recap this? Nathan Lyon was so injured that he couldn't do his job. He had to stand in a corridor because of an obscure law that has never actually happened before at this level of the sport. He was, however, fit enough to do the job that he's not very good at in the first place, where he could only do that worse than he would normally do anyway, and he was pretty much stuck to his spot, while England fielders flung themselves around violently to try and save the balls that occasionally came to them. And all this happened while England's military medium militia bowled at the one place, the one place, that would actually allow Australia to replace him in the last innings. What a craptacular sport we love.